it's pretty devastating because you're still in that, when you have children, you're still going through life planning college and ball games and now I've got another child that I'm, that at that time was in, you know, preschool and it's just, it's pretty shocking. We met a cancer navigator in Tampa who sent us on a journey to several places that we finally ended up here with Dr. Rangel at MUSC. He's just, he's just the best and he bounds in the room and he's very optimistic and he's always has a plan B, C, D, all, all the way down the road. So we're working on plan A, but he always has things in the back of his mind. Well, we started with chemotherapy, knowing that as lung cancer does, chemotherapy doesn't always work. It usually doesn't. And right at the exact time that the chemotherapy stopped working, Dr. Rangel says, I just got approved for a clinical trial. You'd be the first person. And I asked him point blank, I said, if I was your brother, what would you do? And he said, if you're my brother, I'd have you in it. And that's all I needed to know. That was satisfaction for me. And we decided, we didn't even leave the office to talk about it. We decided right there that let's go for it. Let's do it. So the first couple of treatments were rough, but after that it was smooth sailing. And I can have treatment and go back to, I can go home and cut the grass that afternoon with, with chemotherapy. It was not that way, but this has no real side effects for me. And it's been very positive. We've had reduction in the tumor size from the beginning and now we've been stable for almost two years. I mean, I tell people all the time, go where you have to go. Be don't be afraid to get out of your comfort zone. Um, go to teaching universities. That's the big thing because they have more tools in their toolbox. When they said two years, of course, he was still in college and dating and I, there was no wedding date set or anything like that and when he he called me to tell me he was getting married and then he called me back a, a few days later to ask me to be his best man it was pretty overwhelming and lots of crying and all that because I really didn't think I would make it to that to the wedding and being his best man was just icing on the cake and you know being able to stand there with him and be healthy and to enjoy it and not have to worry about things that was just the most amazing thing.